Hey, what's up you guys? It's Premier Gal here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some updates to the Essential Graphics panel that Adobe released in the latest version of Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Now, if you're watching this and you're a video editor, there are mixed reviews on this panel. Some people prefer the legacy titler tool because the Essential Graphics panel completely changed the way that titles are done. And so there are some downsides to it. But in this new update, there are some new improvements that I'm actually really excited about. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna share with you a few major updates that I'm really excited about. So the first biggest update to the Essential Graphics panel is the responsive design. Shapes can now automatically adapt to text and frame sizes. For example, if I delete the text in the modern title design here in my program window and type in more, you will see that the rectangle background actually adapts to the size of my text and what I type. So this means that we no longer have to readjust the size of the rectangle manually each time we type something new. Now it'll do it for you. So to do this, simply select your rectangle from the Essential Graphics panel in the layer section. Then just below that, from the pin two dropdown, select the text layer. Next, to the right, hit that center button within the pinning interface. And what this will do is auto select all four sides of the pin, meaning that you want the rectangle to grow in all directions around the text. Next, select the title layer and pin it to the video frame. There is no need to select any edges because this text is center aligned. But if the text was left centered, you would want to pin it to two sides. So for example, on the left, you would want to pin it on the left hand side and on the bottom or the top. So that way, if we ever drag and drop titles from the Essential Graphics panel into a different size sequence, such as going from a 16 by nine landscape to a square aspect ratio, the graphic will remain the same. Before, if a graphic was made in a 16 by nine landscape and then you dropped it in a square aspect ratio, it did not work and you had to recreate the title. So this is definitely a game changer. Oh, and by the way, you can download this animated modern title motion graphics template I designed for free from my store. You will need to update to Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 to use this template. And I have lots of other freebies in my store and other titles and social media packs that you can buy. You can find links in my description box below. And so the second biggest update is what Adobe calls Taffy Time, which is another responsive design feature. You can now stretch or extend out your graphics like Taffy in your Premiere Pro timeline. And you can see that there are intro and outro animation handles that remain unchanged. So how does this work? Over in the effects controls, you can see that I added some keyframed animation to the opacity and to the scale to create the pop up and pop out effect on my motion graphic. So you can select the graphic in the timeline and then go to the essential graphics panel. And here you can now type in your desired intro and outro handle durations. And if you don't like typing in a time code here, you can always head over back to the effects control panel. And here you can simply adjust the handles for the intro and the outro just by moving them left or right. So this new feature is awesome because it now means you no longer have to go back and fix keyframes if you decide to shorten or lengthen your motion graphics template in your timeline. And the third most important update to the Essential Graphics panel is you can now make your credits roll in the Essential Graphics panel. Here I have typed out a sample credit sequence. And now after you select the clip from the timeline, go over to the Essential Graphics panel and select the box next to roll. Now what this does is automatically check the boxes to begin the roll off screen and end off screen. You can also change the speed of this roll. To make it slower, simply extend the graphic out in the timeline. And if we play it back, you can see it's slower. 
Or if you wanna make it faster, you can just shorten the graphic in the timeline and now it rolls a lot faster. And so the last major update to the Essential Graphics panel is related to fonts. Now, selecting fonts from the dropdown is so much easier. In the previous release of the Essential Graphics panel, you couldn't type in to search your fonts, which was super frustrating because the Legacy Titler tool let you do that. But now you can just type in a font in the dropdown and find what you need. Also, you can favorite fonts by clicking the star next to it, and then at the top you can filter by favorite fonts simply by clicking on that star icon and you'll see all of your favorite fonts. Also at the top, you can see that you can filter by typekit fonts by clicking on that typekit logo. This will show all the fonts you have synced with typekit. And this is important because if you ever want to design and sell your motion graphic templates to Adobe Stock, you must use fonts that are synced with Typekit. An example font that I like to use is Source Sans Pro. And so these are all the updates to the Essential Graphics panel that I wanted to share with you today. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and also be sure to head over to patreon.com slash premiergal and leave me a tip so I can continue making tutorials like this every week. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified when I publish new videos to my YouTube channel every week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.